everybody. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client. I'm gonna be sharing distance, psychic wisdom and energy healing. The focus is on the COVID vaccine and taking a look at that and its impact on the body. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna be curious to see what comes up over this. And I know each person and how we digest or the information of the vaccines is gonna impact each person uniquely different. But I'm definitely curious to see what comes up. And I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to look into this for you. And thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. If any of you are interested in exploring a session, you can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. So I'm going to read the goals out loud here and we'll get started. You say, I got the COVID vaccine and would like to receive healing around this. I don't have any negative side effects, but I do wonder about its impact on my body. Okay. Okay, so you want to receive healing, don't have any negative side effects. It's you're wondering if it if the vaccine did impact your body in a way that you would be concerned about it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna relax and get tuned in. And we'll see what comes up, okay? All right, so the first thing that I walk into doesn't make a whole lot of sense yet. Basically, there's just a black patch of energy. It's circular. It's thick like rubber. Um, there's a white line like paint. Take a big thick brush and then just brush a line of paint, right? Just randomly here in kind of the center of this big kind of rubbery thing. And, and then this rubbery thing folds me inside of it like I'm a taco, okay? That's literally the first thing that comes to me. Somehow the padding, this rubbery padding, creates warmth, it creates comfort, it creates security. And there has to be a decision if we're going to go into the substance, which is this rubber, or if we're going to step back from it, separate ourselves from it. And I see there's a bit of a psychologically conflicting relationship that you had with getting the vaccine. Because I see that your consciousness is, it's almost like, you know where you draw a line in the sand? You know, I'm not going to cross this line. And maybe you had to cross a line in the sand. And so where do you stand? And maybe it was like a white painted line on this rubber substance. I mean, it's just like a ripped out floor. It's very strange, okay? Um, and so there's this line that is, is, is approaching you. It's it, this whole thing is wrapping you up inside of it. But then there is a, an aspect of your consciousness that has stepped back and is evaluating this from afar. You know, is it six feet social distancing? Um, but it, it's not that far away. I mean, it's just a few feet away from it while you're also wrapped up inside of it. So this is a conflict of the mind, okay? But we're going to work through this because um, I feel like your heart is asking you to step back. And you can step back at any time. Almost like if you, if you have changed your mind about ever having the vaccine, that you could talk to your body. And I want to say that your body can just remove the information anytime you want. That's literally what's coming to me. Like, let's say the vaccine was just, um, I don't know, let's say you ate some rotten food, you, you ate it, you got sick from it. Um, it is what it is. You can, it's almost like undo this event. You can undo, your body can digest it, transmute it, as, and, and completely remove it from the body. That's, that's literally what they're showing me here. And it starts with a psychological choice. And so you, you're stepping back into yourself and saying, I want nothing to do with this. I, I changed my mind. And there's a lot of anger. 
And this flooring with the white line is like a baseball mitt that has you in its grip. And you're the ball that wants to get dropped. You want to get out. And there's anger involved, okay? That you got caught. That you got pulled into this. I say it's okay to be angry. I mean... I think it's okay to be angry. I don't feel like anger needs to um, be the deciding, um, the, the strong and grounded dis deciding factor. Like, why can't you just forgive it all? Like, what you're angry about, why can't you just forgive this? Why can't you just forgive yourself? You know what I mean? It's not just about you. It's not just about you. It's like you could say that the, the decision was a loving decision that you made. But was it a loving decision that was provided to you to make the loving decision for yourself and others? It feels like you're in a psychological conflict with the meaning of this. And it seems to me that you're looking outside yourself and you're concerned about the well-being of others. And that brings concern for your own well-being. It, it energetically, and I, I mean, I think a lot of people are concerned. I mean, there's a lot of information out there. A lot of people want answers. A lot of people want to understand what just happened here. Was this the benefit of, of the world? Was this really beneficial for the world? So what you need to heal, first and foremost, is your relationship with the vaccine itself. And there's more power in your court than you realize. And already we're working through what is a, a forgiveness process. That's, that's the step one here. Interesting, the line in the sand concept, step one um, is forgiveness. She can't seem to get out of that rubber. It's like a wrestling mat that got ripped out and a line in the middle. It's very random and very odd, okay? But you can't get out of it. You're asking if I could um, go deeper than just forgiveness. Because you want to know, if did this impact your physical body? Are you going to die from it? I mean, you, you're wanting to know if... This could be a threat to your longevity. I mean, that's what you're expressing here. <sighs> okay. I ask you if you are able to forgive everything. Because I can't answer this question until you can wholeheartedly choose forgiveness. Only then will we really be able to see a clear image. Otherwise, because of your fear, then it did ne negatively impact your physical body. Because fear always negatively impacts our physical body. So are you afraid? Are you stressed out over it? Are you angry about it? Yeah, then it did negatively impact your physical body. <clears throat> now, if you can choose forgiveness with me, let's choose forgiveness. Like, let's Jesus style this thing. Let's forgive this whole thing. Let's just bring Jesus into it. Jesus is the, the master of forgiveness.
you're open-minded to it. You actually say, Jesus, forgive me for my anger and my fear. You actually collapse into a puddle and you just, you just, you're full of sobbing and you're very tired. I have a feeling there's more to your life than just the COVID vaccine. It's interesting as I see Jesus pulls out from this puddle, just pulls out a part of your spirit and then takes you into a heavenly space. And takes you away from the, the energy, it's like negative energy of the planet. I mean, I'm not here to say that, that the earth is just a negative place because there's beautiful things that we grow into through the negative challenges we go through. Like, it's a hard place, yes, but it's, it's a place of growth and growth is full of love and admiration and respect. You know, like those energies. We need to separate from all that's, those sounds so you can get caught up with yourself. Energetically, I feel like you're a lot stronger physically than you think. And I feel like when your mind and emotions are in a place of strength, that the vaccine really just bounced right off of you. But you're going to have to own that truth. And if you're vulnerable and questioning that truth, this then becomes a psychological game. You're going to have to then draw a line in the sand with yourself on this one. That is, that is what I'm being shown as the most important um, part of the process related to how the vaccine impacted you, okay? But let's see if there's anything else because you with Jesus and this heavenly space and your separation from the negativity is as actually very therapeutic. It's very cleansing. It's very purifying. Um, I'm being shown other images. Um, the power of uh, mother earth can heal you like the power of, um, like don't, don't, um, discredit, like we're given a vaccine or we're given medicine, but we we forget about the medicine that our own earth provides us when we eat natural foods, you know, when we take walks and, and feel the love and the light in our hearts, it's already energetically cleansing us on a regular basis. So when we're in alignment with these vibrations, with these nourishments, with these energies, there already is um, a medicine taking place there that is more powerful than anything else. Don't forget that you yourself are your own technology. You, your body is incredibly wise. And that you as this wise emanation that is way more powerful than these injections. I mean, I mean, this is the first that I they've presented it to me in this way. And they're wanting you to really reflect on yourself as strong. Okay, physically, mentally, emotionally strong. And this message is, is going to help you through this. Okay, let's see what else they want to show me. <laughs> it feels to me, <laughs> me like you still don't believe me. Like you feel that something impacted you negatively on this. So, okay, so forgiveness. Um, we're going to choose to be powerful, you in and of yourself, <laughs> work with um, positive thinking, positive energy, you are powerful, right? That is true. But if you're telling me you still feel that this impacted you negatively, then anything that I'm saying is not as, um, as powerful as what has already been decided that you were negatively impacted and you will have to live with basically a disability. You were disabled by it. 
I feel that the, that the dis, disability or you being um, impacted by it was more of a psychological impact. I, I think that's important that we reflect on how this vaccine process psychologically impacted people because that is our mental health. That is an empowered human race versus a weakened human race because we are fearful about our medical system. We're fearful about um, our treatments and our government's decisions. I mean, that's, that's what's tied up in here. Something is clicking and you're starting to say, oh, like, um, vibrationally, something is like your eyes are open and something feels a little more peaceful and a little more whole. You, you, you do enter into another state of um, an emotional release. But what's interesting is you, you, you say to me while saying simultaneously to yourself, um, I release, it's something like this, Abby release me from this COVID vaccine, but simultaneously I am strong enough to release myself from it. You actually do say that. Okay, well, that you're owning it. You're saying I release myself from this COVID vaccine because that actually is what you wanted all along. That's why I was talking about this. You can undo it. You can do an undo. <laughs> we can find the back button and then undo it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to take a look and see how effective that is, okay? Okay. Undo. I'm undoing this, okay. So I, I, you're saying this and I'm evaluating this, okay. Hmm. You, you're freaking like an angel. You, you actually, it's almost like returning to the event when you got vaccinated and you're re rewinding the tape and anything that went in is now going out. And you actually rewind the tape and you look into the sun and you ask God to heal the whole world, basically of any damage that was done and to forgive everybody. Like forgive everybody. I mean, <clears throat> you forgive everybody because this, you're showing me a representation of like, like what is like a big wave and it flood it flooded everybody's um, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being. And in the midst of the flood of this um, event, then we make decisions and and then we have um, follow through on those decisions of how it how it impacts our mental health, our emotional health, right? Our physical health and how we felt felt about other people or how we felt about our leaders and how we felt about the pharmaceutical companies and we, how we felt about the, everything happening in the whole world. And no matter what the action or inaction or, or the hate or the resistance or the withdrawal or the depression or the suicide or the whatever came, or the money put into pockets or, you know, the decisions made that may have been um, more geared towards money making than the well-being of other human beings, that it would all be forgiven equally. Because there's something interesting about this. When you rewind the tape and the undo takes place, there's light that shines from within you and an angel then shines through you. And from that angel, there's this like proclamation to heaven. And it's what could only be vibrationally defined as 
um, to forgive all of us or all are forgiven. And again, there's like a, a major Jesus um, emanation going on here. There's a reason why I'm thinking Jesus because it's something powerful. Because it, it's not about, it's it's almost like we wash the slate clean and we feel back to ourself and our heart, the heart of who we are, who each other is, the heart of our, our world and what matters most in the love in our world. Interesting. You know what this is making me think of? That in time, we, we it's almost like we trip over um, events, okay? So this whole COVID thing is we've tripped over this event. It doesn't matter where you're at in it. We're all a part of a collective event, of collective phenomenon. And we all collectively, as one human being, tripped over this event, okay? Um, it's not like we, we, you could say we fell flat on our face or we caught ourselves before we fell. It doesn't matter how you want to look at it. But everything is going to come full circle in time because it always does. What if coming full circle isn't we're going to do it again? Um, and we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. And we're going to be caught in a loop. But what if coming full circle is we don't trip. Instead, we choose forgiveness. And this entire loop is we're completely resurrected from it. Because sometimes it things get worse before they get better. And what if all of the physical actions and the memory and the exchanges, no matter where you were in the world and the decision that you made, um, what if all of that um, was just simply part of a major um, sort of breakdown in order to build back better type of experience? And whatever your need is based upon this vaccine event, um, it, you will be honored in your request. And so if, if you want to undo, you will be honored. If you want to embrace it, you will be honored. And it doesn't feel like the goal is to destroy. The goal is to mend and heal and build back better. Energetically in the universe, that is what is being expressed here. It's as simple as authentically so. When we come and we confess how we genuinely feel, we are, we are worthy and deserving of forgiveness and so is every single soul on the planet. All souls are. When you come authentically so, you are worthy and deserving. And so that that is pretty darn cool. Thank you for this. I feel pretty awesome right now. I feel like a lot of people need to hear this. That is a real blessing. Thank you very much for this. And thank you, everybody, for your love and support. And I hope you all have a very awesome rest of your day.